Yo, what's going on guys? So it has come to my attention that there is a camo after Interstellar and Borealis to unlock. And you guys know me, I have to collect them all. <laughs> yeah, boy. And that's exactly why we are on Zombies today, because the grind to this mastery camo has begun again. <laughs> that is the bioluminescent camo. <laughs> I swear this thing looks a lot crazier than I remember too. I have been getting harassed about this camo. People have been saying, yo, you can't be the camo king if you haven't got bioluminescent. I took that personally and that's why we're back here. I've got my backpack full of what we need to do. When I first started the grind, we didn't make it very far. I'm going to be honest. But yesterday I did a bunch of the weapons, getting them golden ivory, which is of course the gold camo for zombies. And now in order to unlock the spinal husk camo, which is the forged camo for zombies, I need to get one more golden ivory camo. So one more assault rifle gold, which is going to be this. What's this gun called again? The TR-76 guys. I know it's random, but because this is the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, and of course that was last year, we have a bunch of DLC weapons that we can choose from. And the reason you might want to do that is because some of the challenges might be easier. So that's exactly why I picked this one. Look at how easy this is. I need to get 250 kills. Then I need to get 250 kills with four perks active. The same thing, pretty much. I need to get 250 kills in a high or medium threat zone. Again, the same thing. And then five Finally, 250 kills with frost damage. I can get all of those done in the same 250 kills. But listen, I'm only going to carry this series on if you guys enjoy it. I'm going to unlock Bioluminescent regardless, but if you want to see more videos on my road to it, 2,000 likes on this video and I'll do that. But look, this is exactly why I've got the freeze ammo and the four perks to put on nice and easily. We've got the golden armor plate, the epic ether tool, and the perk three. Huh? Wait, no, pack a punch three. <laughs> you can tell it's been a while since I played this. All right. Right, so we want to go into the medium threat zone. So I want to get this outlast contract just so we can spawn as many zombies as possible. Then we can knock out these 250 kills easy. And then the spinal husk camel, we have to get 300 kills whilst pack a punch. But the annoying thing is to get the gold camel, you have to exfil first. So we're going to get the 250 kills, exfil, then we'll have gold, then we'll get back into another game, get 300 kills whilst pack a punch, and then we'll have the forged or spinal husk camo. This is a little bit of a long flight right here. Sheesh. It's so crazy how popular zombies Zombies was at one point. I'm not sure if it still is. At the start and release of Modern Warfare 3, Zombies was one of the most popular modes. I loved it, but unfortunately, I don't think they planned for it to be this popular. The reason why I say that is because they literally said that they don't really plan on adding too much more to Zombies, at least in terms of new Zombies, new bosses and stuff like that, which is such a shame because this mode is crazy fun when there's new stuff to get. I can understand that it's probably really high maintenance though, because all there is to do on zombies is get new stuff so they have to keep producing more and more and more anyway let's turn this thing on here we go. Also, I do want to say there's a bunch of new people on the channel lately. So if you are new and you haven't already and you enjoy, subscribe. Do it! I also really appreciate you guys for letting me do content that isn't just multiplayer. You guys love when I go back to older Call of Duties. Yes, that's still multiplayer, but even other stuff, you know, playing zombies, playing Warzone, you guys still stick by, show love, and I really appreciate that. There we go. Again, my gun is probably overkill. I've got a pack a punch level three and an epic tool, but you know, is what it is. Just makes it even easier for us. Someone did tell me to get the percentage to, Ooh, why are you running at me like that? <laughs> Someone did tell me to get the percentage to 90 and then get out and then they infinitely spawn. I don't know if that's true, but I'm gonna do that. All right, it's almost at 90. Okay, it's at 90. Now let me get out. <laughs> there we go. I love spamming the aim button with Deadshot Daiquiri so it automatically aims to the head. It looks like aimbot. <laughs> oh wait, I should get that. Even though my weapon is pretty much already insta-kill. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, we're gonna get these 250 kills in no time. I remember when playing zombies on this game was scary because you didn't have all the loot in the game. So when you went into the medium threat zone and especially the red zone, you was petrified. You didn't know how to maneuver. The zombies were insanely strong. You didn't want to do any contracts in there because you were scared for your life. But then when you have everything like I do now, and I'm sure most of you guys do too, you realize how easy those zones are. Like, look, these guys are dying in literally... <laughs> 
a couple bullets. Oh yeah, there's a bunch spawning. Whoever told me to do that and get it to 90 plus, you were right. Sheesh. Let me know if any of you guys are still playing zombies though. If you're not and you kind of gave it up like me because it got a little bit boring and not too much stuff got added. Hey, if you haven't got bioluminescent, come do this grind with me. Let's do this camo grind together. I want to see what progress we all make. No. Nope. Since I've got all the Modern Warfare 2 weapons ranked up, I don't see this grind taking too long. It really just depends on how much time I put into it. But the biggest part of most of these grinds is ranking up your weapon. And since I've got them ranked up, I don't see it being very difficult at all. The difficult part is sitting here and playing zombies for hours, really. <laughs> Beam them all. This weapon's not bad, obviously. Oh, wow. We only got 250 kills. Wait, they should all pop up right now. Wait, Bleak Visions looks kind of crazy. Okay, they've all literally <laughs> every single last one of them we did it <laughs> honestly this was pretty much a waste of time but i'm not even gonna do that contract and that's how easy it is with the modern warfare 2 weapons because you can pick through the weapons to find the one with the easiest challenges oh no it's back and they're gonna call it in it's so far away though and this doesn't take you very far. I need this vehicle right here. I need to get 400 meters away. Oh, the hell is landing. Are you serious? I see it flying over. Come on, please. I've got to get there so quick. Turn this bad boy around. Come on! Don't leave me behind, please. I don't see the heli anymore. That's a bad sign. That means it's already landed or it is landing. Please don't take... Is it taking off or landing? It's landing. Okay, we got here in time. All right, and out we go. <laughs> wow, that's probably the easiest golden ivory I have ever got. Wait, do you even have to expel? Let me double check this. Okay, I think you do. Yeah, because for golden ivory, you need to successfully extract. And then the next one is 300 kills. And I don't have any kills on that. So clearly it doesn't count. That's so annoying. Later. So let's whack this stuff on. Another pack of punch three. Another golden plate. More perks just in case. But I've also got this pack of punch one crystal for this scorcher case. Now. Oh, I can use this. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to fly. It's great having this though, to be able to maneuver around the map. That's one thing that I'm going to make sure I do in the future. However, it does mean that I can't have another weapon. So maybe that would slow me down eventually if I'm trying to do two weapons in one game. Activate the PND. Thank you. I like this one because there's so much room to be able to run around. So if I was really panicking, I can literally just run around, jump through here, get to the other side. We're good. For those of you guys that still play zombies, are the tombstones glitch is still a thing where people run around drop a bunch of money and all that different stuff is that still happening those guys used to be a blessing walking around zombies i swear they'll just run around randomly drop a bunch of money i used to appreciate that especially if you're working towards something and trying to i don't know maybe go into the dark ether running into one of those people before you do it hey it speeds up the process so much okay we're above 90 let me get out of here before we end up completing it by accident and mow down these zombies Let's go. I think doing a tier two Outlast contract is the best thing for me to do because so many of them spawn. In the tier one zone, not many of them spawn. I mean, a bunch do, but not as many as this. Maybe if I'm stacked, I should do it in a tier three zone. Maybe I'd get even more zombies spawning. Of course, if you guys have any tips in terms of how I can do this a lot faster, please let me know. In regards to zombies or just in regards to the bioluminescent camo, any ideas, let me know because I do want to get this as fast as possible. If that tombstone glitch isn't a thing anymore, then I I should have made sure to do this cabo grind when that was a thing it was almost like every game you'd get into someone would be dropping a bunch of money and i feel like that just would have made my whole process so much easier the only thing about the bioluminescent camo is the fact that you can't use it on Modern Warfare 3 weapons. And I don't know why. I think that would have been sick. It would have enticed people to use the Modern Warfare 2 weapons in zombies to be able to get the bioluminescent camo just to be able to use it on their Modern Warfare 3 guns. I think it's a missed opportunity because, well, maybe you can. Yeah, I don't think you can because you can't use Orion on Modern Warfare 3 weapons. But the weird thing is you can use the Modern Warfare 2 basic camos on Modern Warfare 3 guns. So I don't know why they didn't just let you use the mastery camos on them too. Because if they did, I think you would see a lot more people grinding bioluminescent. Come here, line them all up. I'm trying to get the percentage just a little bit higher. I don't know, man. I think being scared of zombies is kind of what made it fun, right? Even back in the day in round-based zombies, being scared of a map, being scared of not knowing where to go and stuff like that, that is why it was so fun. Of course, as well as the Easter eggs and all that different stuff. Get out of here, buddy. But to start off, there's zombies not knowing what to do, not wanting... Oh, we got it. Spinal husk unlocked. Come on, shut up, Brian. We might as well finish it since we're here. Let me know what you guys prefer, the round-based zombies or this type of zombies. I don't even know what this one's called. Let's get this. What do we get? 
absolutely nothing. We'll take that just in case. And right, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, for those of you guys interested, I just found out what I should do about the iPad situation. I talked about it in my last video. Basically, a quick recap for those of you guys that weren't there to hear that I was talking about getting a new iPad ready for Warzone Mobile that comes out later this month, just to be able to play and record in the best way possible. Now, the problem with that is there's a new iPad coming out, either at the end of March or at the start of April, probably just after the release of Warzone Mobile. However, I do need the iPad ready for Warzone Mobile, like the release release day. So I didn't know what to do, whether to buy the current latest iPad or to just record on my phone, which is kind of annoying, and then just wait a couple weeks or so for the new one. But I called them and they told me, great news by the way, that you can buy the current new iPad that's out, and then you have two weeks to be able to return it and get a full refund. So I think what I'm going to do is get the iPad closer to the time of Warzone Mobile releasing, then take it back after the first week or so, get a full refund, because that's what you can do and then buy the new one when it comes out. Sounds like a perfect plan if you ask me. And there we go, Spinal Husk. So that's our first Spinal Husk camo. Then we need to get Golden Ivory on, of course, the SMGs, LMGs, all the other weapons. Then we can get 51 Spinal Husk camos to unlock the Arachnida camo. And then once we get all of these camos, we can get Bioluminescent. It sounds crazy, but you guys saw how fast I just got that done, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh yeah, and before I go, this is how it looks. It's not the most appealing camo, I'll be honest. But this or forged? I don't know. They're both kind of on the same level to me. Can we get one kill? There we go. Maybe one more. Thank you very much. I thought I had a throwing knife. I deserve to die. Great. Anyway, that's enough Modern Warfare 3 for me today. You already know what to do. If you want to see more of the road to Bioluminescent, then drop a like on the video and I'll be sure to bring more and more videos to you guys as I do it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support you guys have been showing. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.